All right, guys, welcome back. So if you've been following along, you know I do a lot of frog fishing. We've kind of gone over my frog tactics, what I've got in my frog box, and you see me catching stuff. But three days ago, devastation. I broke my frog rod. So stay tuned, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do about it. All right, so there's not a lot you can do with a... Uh, one foot rod with no guides on it. So um, I've loved this setup. This has been my kind of go-to, my top water, my frog rods. I'll throw it in the truck real quick, run over there. And well, I didn't catch very big fish. It was probably three to four pounds, but it had three to four pounds worth of slop on it. So whenever I did go to flip it in, it just didn't end well. The rod exploded. Now it's in four to five pieces. However, I am gonna keep the Shimano in my rotation. But what I've decided to do, that day I went out and I bought a new rod. I put the Shimano on that rod, I went out, caught five fish, lost three fish. Rod's phenomenal. I absolutely love it. I'll show you what that rod looks like here in a second. But what I realized is I wanted a little bit different setup for my reel. Yes, the 7 to one's a high speed. I stepped it up just a little bit. I know it's a game of inches and it didn't pick up a lot more, but it is a newer reel. This is a 2008 Shimano I've been using. Um, I used it down on the coast. I swapped bearings out. It's a great, great tool. It'll definitely stay in the, in the arsenal, but I wanted to go ahead and replace it. If you remember, a while back, I went ahead and I took advantage of a tackle warehouse special they had going on, and that was a Daiwa Tactical Tatula. So, that's this guy right here. Let's take a quick look at what it has to offer. So, this was a promotion they had going on. They were blowing out of left hands. I do use left-handed reels, so it worked out great for me. So, if you look at this reel, it has an 8 to 1 gear ratio. Phenomenal. It weighs 7.9 ounces, has a max drag of 32.2 pounds, and it has seven ball bearings, seven plus one. Um, it is a flat black reel. It has an oversized uh, uh, tension knob here on the side. It still has your external brake adjustment here of 20 different options. There's actually halves, so double that actually. Um, it does have the T-wing, and one of the things I really like about this particular reel, 110 millimeters on that handle. So real big spin on that handle whenever you're cranking it in. I've absolutely loved this. I have caught some really, really nice fish uh, already fishing this one. I originally got it, so it would be my skipping uh, setup. But what I realized with that T-handle, the line comes off way too fast for me to skip bait. So uh, a lot of times I'd end up with a backlash, frustrating, I'd have to put it down. So I switched it over. I use it to flip and pitch. At an 8.1 gear ratio, I can get in and out, in and out really, really quick. Um, and so that's really nice. So I loved this reel. I liked it a lot. So I decided to go back and get another one. And what I picked out this time, this is the Daiwa CT Tatula. It's the 100 HSL, L of course for left-handed, uh, HS standing for high speed. So this is a 7.3 gear ratio reel. This is a lot like the other one. There are a couple little things that are different on this reel. If you compare the standard features, on 14 pound test, it still holds 120 yards of monofilament. It weighs 7.4 ounces instead and it still has a max drag of 13.2 pounds and still has seven plus one ball bearings. Now, some of the other little differences you'll notice on this one. This is kind of a gunmetal color. It's got red uh, accents on it. It does not have the oversized tension knob here on the side of it, and the handle is a little bit smaller. It's 100 millimeters instead of 110. So it still has the T-wing feature, which is great. So this is gonna make it really easy to launch that frog way, way out there. So that's pretty nifty. If you put these two along with the Shimano down on the ground and put them next to a tape measure, you're gonna see what they come in at. The Shimano, it'll come in at 30 inches. The Daiwa Tactical comes in at a whopping 34 inches of line crank. And of course, the CT, the newest one in the arsenal, it's gonna come in at 31 inches. So still pretty, pretty nifty. They're still gonna be pretty high speed reels. 
If you do remember, the rod I picked out for the tactical is the Daiwa Lexa. This is a medium heavy, seven, uh, what did I go? Seven two, medium heavy. Um, this is a great rod. It's real, real light, extremely sensitive. So as I'm using that rod to kind of pull that little Texas rig or that little jig across something, I can feel everything on the ground. But what I decided, and I bought the rod first, bought the reel second, I went ahead and bought a Bass Pro Shops Johnny Morris Signature, or the Platinum Series, uh, Platinum Signature Series rod. This thing is phenomenal. I took it out the day I broke that other rod, caught five fish, lost three, that's frog fishing. It is absolutely gorgeous out there in the sun. It has got this beautiful red color to it. Um, it has got the new wind grips. I really like that, whether you're kayak fishing or you're constantly flipping a jig or you're throwing you know, a frog out there that holds a lot of water and you're constantly squeezing that out. These wind grips are great for that. It keeps your hands dry and it's really easy to get a good grip on it. And then of course, the last thing I really like about this down here at the bottom, it's got this little line minder at the very bottom of it. It's got a little window. So you can set a reminder for what you had on there. Sometimes you're looking down at the deck of the boat, you've got four or five rods laying there. Did I put 14? Did I put 17? Is that a 50 pound braid, 65 pound braid? Can't quite remember what it was. That's a good way to kind of remind yourself. So as I told you, there's a really cool promotion coming up on these reels, starting on the 10th. So right after y'all get a chance to check out this video, there's gonna be an offer coming out from Daiwa. And what Daiwa is doing is when you buy one of their CTs, whether it's right hand, left hand, you are gonna get a free pack of J-Braid. So this is 300 yards, I opted for the 40 pound. They're also gonna be offering it with a 30 pound, but that's 300 yards. You know, that's about $39 value right there that you get for free. And then of course, inside the box, they've been running this promotion for a little while as well. They also have got a hook jersey. All you do is pay the $5 in a money order, mail this in to them, tell them what size you are, and you're gonna get a high performance fishing shirt from Hook with Daiwa logo on it. So that is another $39 value. So just for picking up a new Daiwa, whether you're a current Daiwa user, you wanna try Daiwa out, this is a great opportunity. After tax, you're looking at about $140, but you're getting a couple extra things here, $40 and $40. So you're saving a ton of money and you're getting a chance to maybe try out a new reel or add another reel to your arsenal. All right, and the last thing I wanted to show you real quick, guys, this is some new baits that I just got in. These are pretty cool. If you live in the state of Texas, you have probably already tried these. That's it right there, Grande Bass. So this is the Airtail Flash. Um, Grande Bass makes a bunch of worms, whether it's a stick bait or a shaky head. I've got them all now, so I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, the three primary colors I picked up for fish in Central Texas is, you gotta have a pearl white, so that's solid white all the way through. Of course, gotta have smoking shad. Looks like your typical old shad. It's got the white belly, kind of grayish gunmetal top to it. And then of course, most popular country, most popular color, I don't care where you are in the country, watermelon red flake. So what's really unique about these baits is it's your typical fluke, got the split belly on it, but it's the tail. The tail has got a little air pocket in there and you can feel it. You can do all kinds of cool things with this tail. You can leave it as it is and you can watch it fall. It's gonna fall a little bit differently. It's gonna give it a little bit of a kind of a spinning tornado kind of effect. So it's gonna fall slower. You can squirt a little bit of Procure or whatever your favorite scent is inside of there so it leaches that smell out as it goes down. Or maybe put a glass rattle in there. Maybe get that click, click, click sound going as you're fishing that. Lots of opportunity. Definitely check them out, guys. Grind Day Bass. They're located here in Central Texas. They've been around for a while. They make great baits and it's a really good value. You're getting a 10 count of these guys in each bag. So check them out. They make crawls called the Mutant Crawl. They make the, the Airtail Wiggler. They make the Snake. They make the snake -o. Um, All kinds of really cool things out there. So if you got any questions, guys, please comment down below. If you like this video, maybe you're using Daiwa, give me the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe down in this corner. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.